what's up guys uh it's barbara here and you're welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so uh today we're going to be doing a day in my skincare or skincare routine so this is like an updated um, version of my skincare routine because there have been little changes here and there so i'm going to take you guys um step by step on the products that i use for my skin uh the ones i use for textural skin and how to maintain a clear glowy skin so without further ado guys let's get straight into the video we're going to start with my morning skincare routine and the first product we'll be using here is a cleanser but before that i always make sure to wash my hands before touching my face and i wet my face before applying the facial wash i use this simple um refreshing facial wash it has a gel like consistency uh surprisingly i fell in love with this facial wash when i started using it at first well i wasn't really a fan of simple products so i guess i wasn't really expecting anything from it it's uh, mild and gentle to the skin it doesn't have um or contain any artificial perfumes no color no alcohol all of that stuff like it's literally made in a way that is suitable for all skin types especially if you have like a, a sensitive skin then this facial wash is perfect for you i highly recommend then i'm um, also not in a rush to rinse off my face i usually massage the product into my skin for about two minutes or more before i rinse it off with water I also don't double cleanse because I don't really see the need uh, since I don't have an oily skin. My skin type is more like the normal skin type with the T-zone that's a bit more oily but this varies uh, with seasons like during the dry season my skin tends to be on the dry side so yeah I feel like double cleansing would really dry out my skin. Anyways it's uh, important to know your skin type in order for you to know the uh, routine that best suits your skin. I let my face air dry after rinsing off the facial wash or just stand in front of a fan but when I'm in a rush I use this cosmetic pad to just dab the excess water on my face. I would recommend you use a paper towel to dry your face instead of um, a towel because towels kind of have a build up of bacteria over time which is not really good um, especially if you have a sensitive skin or acne prone skin it's just best to use a paper towel. So moving on to step 2 of my routine which is applying a toner. This is a hyaluronic acid toner by Dr. Rachel. Hyaluronic acid has a hydrating and plumping effect and it also reduces fine lines and wrinkles so it's definitely a must have in your skincare routine. I apply this when my face is still a bit damp and personally I prefer to use my hands to apply this product instead of using a cotton pad because cotton pads kind of absorb a lot of the product and i'm not about to waste the small toner that i have skincare is not cheap this is like the only um toner that i've ever used since i started my skincare journey and it's been really good to me but i like to branch out and try out other brands as well um i usually let my product sit on my face for about five minutes before i apply the next one so it absorbs in these layers for step three we'll be applying our serums here for this i use either niacinamide serum or vitamin c serum both of these products are antioxidants and they even out skin tone i try to alternate these two serums and for no particular reason i prefer to apply the vitamin c serum in the morning and niacinamide serum at night but for today i'll be using the niacinamide serum for my morning routine Niacinamide serum, also known as vitamin B3, is very important in improving overall skin health. It helps to clear out um, acne dark spots and closes up open pores. So if you're struggling with um, big pores, I recommend you get a good niacinamide serum. It also helps with acne as it's an anti-inflammatory agent. So yeah, it's a really um, important ingredient to have in your skincare routine. So guys, moving on to moisturizers, I use this CeraVe moisturizing lotion. I love, love how this moisturizer makes my skin feel. It makes it so soft, guys. Like, damn, it's a really good moisturizer. Like, I'm not even going to water down how amazing this product is. I use the lotion instead of the cream because it is lightweight. But if you have a dry skin, you might want to get the CeraVe moisturizing cream. This moisturizer contains both ceramide and hyaluronic acid. And ceramides are very important for maintaining or repairing skin barrier. Ceramides are naturally present in our skin and they are kind of like the brick that hold the skin cells together and they help to minimize water loss from our skin. So this is especially important for uh, 
people that have dry or dehydrated skin and like i mentioned previously hyaluronic acid is also very important for moisturizing the skin so this is a good combination for a moisturizer the last step of my morning routine is applying some sunscreen so i've used uh three sunscreens so far uh the hatomogi sunscreen dr jat sunscreen and dr rachel sunscreen for this video i'm going to be applying the dr jat sunscreen this is slowly becoming my favorite amongst the three because it has this uh pinkish hue which add some color to my skin and it contains SPF 50 plus but like the Hatomogi sunscreen it kind of stings the eye so you have to avoid your eye area when applying the sunscreen So yeah, that's it guys for my morning skincare routine. Um, it basically consists of five steps which involve the cleanser, toner, serum, moisturizer and the sunscreen. For my nighttime routine, I'm going to be doing the retinol um, skincare routine for the purpose of this video. But I usually only do this like three to four times a week. On other days, I do a regular skincare with cleanser, toner, serum and a moisturizer. There is no place for a sunscreen at night. The first step here is the cleanser and as usual I'm using this um, simple refreshing facial wash. Take your time to scrub your face guys, like don't be in a rush to rinse it off. So after rinsing um, my face and drying it up with this um, cutting pad, I'm going in with the hyaluronic acid toner. But here, I'm using a cutting pad to show you guys how much of my product this thing absorbs. So this is the cutting pad after I use. Like, just take a look at this thing. I can literally squeeze out the toner from this cutting pad to show you how much of my product this thing is wasting. Moving on to the next step, which is the skin treatment. Um, for this, I use retinol in the 0.05%. I just use a piece size and apply it evenly on my face. I use this to prevent um, or treat acne, and it also has anti-aging properties by boosting collagen production in your skin. If you're just starting to use um, retinoin or retinol, um, it's best to start with a low concentration so it doesn't irritate your skin. And you can start with applying it once a week uh, for the first two weeks at least, then twice a week and gradually increasing the frequency. Another mistake people make with retinoin, right, is applying it during the day. This exposes them to uh, sun rays which can cause a lot of irritation and like your skin can purge a lot. So it's best to apply retinoin at night. But um, if you must apply it during the day, make sure to uh, apply a sunscreen to protect yourself. Lastly, uh, for my nighttime routine, we are going in with a moisturizer. It's always important to use a moisturizer after any skincare treatment. And for that, I'll be using our all-time favorite, which is the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion for that. And that's it for this video, guys. This is my morning and evening skincare routine for a clear and glowy skin. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or comments at all, you can drop it in the comment sections uh, where I can answer your questions. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.